Hello, I'm Oscar Denford here at the Denford Factory. Today we'll be showing you the features of the F1 in school's start system, such as how you can add your own team name to each lane, how you can swap them between races and how you'll be able to access the internal race data. Other great features of the F1 in school start system is being able to display this screen on multiple devices whilst also being able to access leaderboards which I'll show you later on. The F1 in school start gate has its own Wi-Fi network. To connect to this, click on the Wi-Fi connection on any device and connect to the F1 in school's Wi-Fi. By clicking connect automatically, you can ensure that you'll connect every time this becomes available to the device. Next, open a browser of your choice. Then, type in 10.0.0.1 into the address bar. Follow, follow this by admin to access the backdoor admin page of the F1 School Start System. The default password for this will be admin. Submit password. This will give you access to all the features in the F1 in School Start System. First, we have the lane name boxes. This allows you to add any team name into these boxes by simply typing it in the name that you desire. On the right, there is also a drop-down menu where you'll be able to select from any pre-uploaded names on the system. You can then send these names to the start system by clicking send team names to start gate. To swap these names in between the lanes, click on swap teams. Then you will need to send the new configuration to the start gate by clicking send team names to start gate again. Next, you can pre-upload any team name onto the start system by clicking on the choose file. The file must be a text file with one team name on each line. As you can see here. Then choose this file. Next, choose the upload file to upload those names onto the start system. After this, we also have the download results. Click on this to download all the race results and all the data within the F1 in school start system. This will present itself as an Excel file on your downloads. Here you can see all your race data from reaction times to total race time. Even including such features as split times. Next we have the clear results file. This button will remove all of the data on the F1 in school start system. So please be sure that before clicking this button to create a backup just in case. Next we have the view live results. This button's very self-explanatory. Click, clicking on this will send you to a screen that displays what is displayed on the screen on the start gate system. Next we have enter new admin password. Here you can add any admin password you would like as I said earlier, the default is admin. Obviously, this can be changed to any password of your choosing. Simply click submit password after you have chosen your password. After this, we have the SSID. This is the name that your Wi-Fi network will be displayed under. Here we have F1 in schools, which will be the default Wi-Fi name. You can change it to anything you like maybe a team name or a school name, depending on your needs. 
After that, click Submit New SSID, and that is the name of the Wi-Fi network from then on. Please remember, changing the SSID will require the start gate to be restarted. Then, after this, we have the Wi-Fi on or Wi-Fi off. Obviously, this will turn the Wi-Fi network on or off. Finally, the limited reaction times and unlimited reaction time buttons will change the operation of the reaction time screen. If limited reactions is chosen, then, the, then only two races may be run on the reaction time screen until some new names are entered. If unlimited reactions is chosen, then the names do not need to be changed. When connected to the Wi-Fi network on any device, typing in the IP address 10.0.0.1 into the address bar will give you access to the live display on the F1 in School Start system. To access the leaderboards in the Startgate system, simply type in the IP address again, 10.0.0.1, followed by a forward slash, then leaderboard.php. Then enter in the password again for the Wi-Fi network and it will display the leaderboard. Here at the bottom you can add the team name racing in lane 1 and also lane 2. Then again we have the start gate button in the middle where you can send the names to the start gate. As you can see, the names are now on the screen and now I'm going to simulate a race to show you how the names will be displayed on the leaderboard. Here you can see the race results displayed on the leaderboard with my terrible reaction times. With this leaderboard, the most recent race will always be highlighted in blue and with any other leaderboard, the fastest time will be at the top. The F1 in School Start system also has a second leaderboard. This will have the same results, but will allow you to show the leaderboard on a display screen. To access this, simply type in the same address as before, however, follow leaderboard by the number two, then PHP. As you can see on this leaderboard, we have the F1 in Schools logo, whilst also showing the gap in between each of the results. And also, this leaderboard does not contain the two name boxes to allow you to change the names, as it is merely for display. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Always remember there are further detailed instructions in the manual and we look forward to seeing you next time.